Piggy Band, Iban, Iban Beats. Uh, welcome to Iban Beats. Uh, my name is Iban, aka Piggy Band. So, um, yeah, man, guys, uh, thank you for clicking on my video. I appreciate it. So, um, the sole purpose of this video, um, I'm not trying to stay long. It's to tell you guys about my traumatic experience that I had with a, uh, 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 you know, so-called rapper. So, um, back in 2003, when I was a teenager, I, I had a, 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 a drum machine, a Boss a, a DR660. So, I made my first beat, and then, uh, you know, I love it. So, I moved to Footy Loops. <laughs> Footy Loops 5, 6, that's when it was called Footy Loops. I'm not quite sure which one. And I stopped making beats. And I went to work, I was working in Pompano, uh, down there in Florida, and a resort called um, Sea Gardens, and um, uh, it was by the beach, and I met this, this fella, he told me that he was a rapper, and, uh, you know, as any naive producer, I believe him, so, you know, and uh, by believe him, and then I'm like, oh man, you're a rapper, but I'm a producer, so I got some beat and stuff like that. He said, man, why don't you sell me stuff? I'm like, okay, no problem. So I burned five beats uh, on the CD, and one of the beats was like my best beat, man, called What Man. Was like a banging ass beat. The the drum, when the drum hit, it's like a the house shake, and the snare was hard. And it was a bass, and it was like a movie soundtrack that I caught and then make a, a, a banging beat with him, so I, I sell. And then, um, you know, I came in, I'm like, okay, man, it's it's 20 bucks, because I didn't know what, you know, beat, how much beat cost, so I, I sold him the five beats for $20. So, and then he was like, well, you know, I don't have it now. When we get paid, you know, we were working in the same place, and we get paid at the same, at the same time, so he said, like, in two weeks, you will, um give me my money two weeks came in and then he didn't have it next two weeks he didn't have it after, after like two months i get pissed off i'm like dude what the fuck where's my money yo and he's like man i'm not gonna pay you i'm like why I'm like man your beats suck ass man when i get your fucking money i give it to you because your beats are whack i i, I only owe you like 20 fucking bucks man i i can't run from 20 bucks man you think I'm going to fucking quit my job for $20, man? When I get my $20, I'll give it to you. But your fucking beat sucks. That's why I didn't want to give you the money. And, you know, when he said that, he really hit me, man. He really does. Like, man, I work so much, so hard on this, you know, craft. And then this guy said sucks. And then he don't want to pay me for it. You know, I understand if he did pay me and say your beat sucks, but I didn't get paid. So uh, it, be, it, it, is, it is because of this experience that I stopped producing for other rappers, whack rappers, and, you know, dead beats, beat beggars. So, you know, he took the five beats. So I didn't know anything about copyright or anything. So uh, those beats on my old hard drive, my, my computer that I had back in 2008, 2009. So um, I still made beats. And, but I made them for me, and I let them sit on my hard drive. So, you know, that's one of the main reasons why, you know, when my when my studio is complete, the so-called beat beggars and beat bums, you know, I'm not going to even deal with those guys. Now, I'm going to shut them out and then do my own thing, do, do my beats and sell it with people that has the money to pay for it. Like I said, but well, I'm not going to charge a harm and a leg, you know. You know, I'm going to charge a decent price, you know, for a decent beat, you know, know your value. So, um, you know, within that, you know, and in the next year, next coming up years when I was young, and then I find out that, you know, um, I've been wasting a lot of time, like a lot of uh, um, good, valuable time working for people. So I stopped my own business in 2014. So um, right now I'm getting really serious uh, about uh, 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 my craft. So all I can tell the young producers out there, the 16, 14, 17, 18 years old, don't give up. All right. Don't do don't turn out to be like me. You know, talented guy, and then you have nothing to show for it. Don't do that, all right? Just, if you had a bad experience with somebody, move to the next one. Right now, it's the age of the internet. You know, always, like, you know, things going to evolve, and you're going to make way more money, all right? Keep up. So that's one of the reasons why I started producing, because I had a bad experience with a, a low-life mofo. You know, right now, you know, I'm back, you know. I got, oh, I got a lot of beats on my computer, but they are not, like, um now material i'm more into the boom bap era 
So right now I'm going to make beats that is, I'm not going to say mainstream, but like a, I would make a mariage of a trap and boom bap, you know, things like that. So, you know, I still, I still have some of the beats on my computer, which I'm going to upload to my website. So that's one of the main reason why I, I, I left producing. And the second one too, I, I wasn't making any, I didn't like to produce all the, for other people, man. I have my own style, so my own beats go with my own self, so, and, and that's why I, I really like to put it on myself. I, I remember I released a song, a single, back in 2010, and I sold one copy on iTunes. <laughs> it was 99 cents, I only sold one copy. And uh, I had one fan somewhere in Germany, and somewhere in Europe, I believe it was in Germany. So, and then... Um, you know, that's why, that's the second one. I couldn't make any money online because I wasn't experienced. I was too lazy. I didn't want to look up anything. So, um, that's, that's the second uh, reason why I give up. So, right now, I'm back up, you know, I'm back online and I'm going to produce much more and hopefully break through financially. So, all of you guys out there, all of you young producers, don't give up, man. Don't turn out to be like me. I have a kid now, a house. I mean, an apartment and then a deadbeat job, dead end job, you know, don't turn out like me, man. Don't give up on your dream like I did. You know, if I stick to my dream from 2009 to here, shit, I wouldn't be right here, man. I'll be on top of the mountain. All right, that was Biggie Bun, E Bun, E Bun Beats. Don't give up. And I'll see you guys later.